Hey, 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 it's Mickey Mouse time. And I got the story to tell everybody about Walt Disney. He never copyrighted this song because he had the vision of this really being a small world. After all, it's a world that doesn't have to be a world of fears and tears, festering ones. Uh, Mickey wants us to become like Dumbo, grow our ears bigger so that we can fly away, uh, mount up on eagles' wings, and it's time to soar higher with that uh, eagle regal, uh, regal eagle of the eons, much higher than the dove of love ever took us before. And I'm not clowning around about that, but one thing is for sure, the fears of this world can be cast away by perfect love, Christ's love within us. There is no good man, not even one, and the just will live by my faith. Because if you believe Romans 3.10, then it's always been about love. All sin has been forgiven us, Jesus said so, except kicking love right out of our chests. Why does the way unto hell paid by conditional love uh, where we practice letting ourselves become desensitized, waxing cold, and becoming uh, lost in the land of the walking dead, having a form of godliness, but denying the power of love by letting our once verb-like love to be a, a, a noun. So uh, revive, come alive, and know that when uh, uh, my uh, former counterpart, John the Baptist, ran around yelling, repent, repent. It's the sinfulness of man that causes our love to dwindle. And so in this hour, it is time to crank up the good news of love. The good news that Mickey and many know that this world will be provided for. And the Lord wants to make a way where it has seemed to be no way. For the crystalline church on high is now being reflected just like Walt Disney World. And it's being reflected beautifully because of the crystalline ocean, the bottomless one of the forgetfulness of his forgiveness, is shimmering and glistening uh, by our star of stars, our star of Bethlehem, the new Jerusalem. And if you would believe it, the New Jerusalem has been um, photographed by uh, Na NASA. I'm punching in NASA, New Jerusalem, and I will show you a picture. Our religion is obsolete in these days because the covenant has been given, and the covenant has been given to all mankind. Hebrews 8 says, when you hear the words, I am your God, you are my people, I forgive your iniquity and I will never remember it. It was promised for the latter day of people. It says so in the Bible in Jeremiah 30, uh, uh, 31, 1. And uh, I lost my, oh, here we go, New Jerusalem. This is the shining crystalline city on high. Uh, this way comes the New Jerusalem. And praise God for it. And uh, you can see that right there. And it is a beautiful, glorious city. And the glory of the Lord shall cover the earth as waters cover the sea. For in this hour, we can know for sure that we must become as little children. And if we do not, we cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Uh, the born again thing has always been bullshit, people. Uh, Jesus himself said, many are going to say, Lord, Lord, I believed I did this, I did that. And he's going to say, no, you let me and you go out that light of love for those who love are born of God and know God because he is love. Every knee will bow to the name of love. Every tongue will confess love. I hold the scepter of all kingdom age authority. I am Shiloh, whose eyes are red and dull of wine uh, and uh, milky white teeth because they're pay. Uh, and I am the one transgressed by wine, uh, Habakkuk 2. And this vision has been written plainly on the tablets. So all those hearing this might run at my command. I am 
Elias, and I command the wheat to leave the terror right now. It's time to unplug from a world that will not recognize its own messenger of love. For wide is the way unto hell. Uh, if, if we won't uh, open our loving hearts, this world is filled with people as shallow as a glass of water that can never receive the great bottomless ocean of the Lord's adoration for us that is living waters now pouring out upon all flesh because that covenant removed Satan for 1,000 years, as Daniel 12, 1 says. And I am the latter day Daniel who has embraced my destiny as Eliza says so in Daniel 12, 13. Now shall come the shattering of the power of the holy people. Judgment starts at the house of God, and I am the judge on Christianity in this world. My name is Daniel, and I am Elijah, that would turn the hearts of children to the fathers by telling them that they cannot uh, choose the way of because kind of love, if or but, uh, or uh, why kind of love. Uh, it's got to be in spite of, or it's not even real. It's got to be through it all. Uh, love must be as a child. And so in this hour, it's time to reevaluate everything. In the preceding videos, um, just Google down the next few videos, and you're going to hear the probability of 50 um, prophecies being able to be fulfilled by one man. Uh, the messianic prophecies that Christ fulfilled were over 300. But uh, a group of 600 scientists got together and number crunched it all. And it turned out in order just to fulfill 50 prophecies, uh, the universe could not hold the amount of electrons needed to count that the odds of one person uh, fulfilling 50 prophecies. And I read the list, list of 60, 70 prophecies that are all being fulfilled right in front of your very eyes. I have been ignored for two years. I've done everything in vain. But the Lord God will not be uh, ignored. Uh, so shall his word be that goeth forth from his mouth, shall not return void. Anyone who stands in the way of this, they will get a curse from God, even a diary of shit, dung, crap, pie in the eye, down their throat like sloppy milk chocolate out their ears. I am one with stammering lips, shocking sometimes, I hope, and to wake people up. People need the storm. They need the thunder. They need uh, the earthquake to get them out of their couch, potato, lethargic apostasy. All people on earth are apostate. Nobody uh, obeys the word of God. Nobody believes that there will, could be a world without birds, fish, or mankind, Zephaniah 1.1. 1, 1. No one believes that these are days exactly like days of Noah. Nobody believes that the earth will really uh, be able to end up in pieces, never to rise again as the word of God declares in Isaiah 25. Nobody believes that only death is a head of me. Deut Deuteronomy 18.18 18 said of the latter day, Shiloh, who uh, he named Shiloh because uh, the first Elijah had never come yet. This world is so daft that Jesus said um, uh, Elijah would come first and restore all things. How in hell are you going to restore anything unless you have revelation of revelation? But that has not been allowed. And so in this hour of craziness and people having expectations, I am not the uh, returning Elijah of the two witnesses. Uh, he will not turn no hearts of children to fathers or fathers to children. He will break death with Moses for hard heads. So we all need to learn the art of growing without losing our inner child. We need to learn how to be happy for no reason at all. For if you are happy for a reason, then you're in trouble big time. Because the reason can be taken from you. But nobody can take away your joy. So we must become as a little child with our love unconditional. Jesus did not like everybody at times. He uh, called Peter, get thee behind me, you devil. Uh, he, he, he called uh, the Pharisees vipers, just as I have done to David Wood uh, in a psychotic scream that I purposely did. Um, and uh, I'm not psychotic, I, I, I tell you truly, truly. 
Uh, if you open your heart and become like a little child, you will always be blissful and always be content. For the soul is, is healed not only by being with children, but trying to be like them. Uh, I, I'm 61 and I watch SpongeBob a lot. And I'm not ashamed to admit it because I like Patrick and I like, I like Mr. Krabs and all the good stuff. So know the children, we gotta examine why are children like they are. They're always happy uh, and they're so, uh, so that they can be cool and act like a kid again so that we can embrace that inner joy. And we don't have to uh, stop um, ways when we grow old. We can still stay young at heart. My, my father, Hubert C., uh, they called him Clyde, uh, he got his ear pierced at uh, 85, 84. <laughs> and I was like, Dad, what are you doing? And, uh, but he was young at heart. And know that uh, children, they are curly dimpled and they're lunatics at time. And none of our elevators go all the way to the top. But there is a great SOS going out now amongst the lands. Uh, uh, what the Bible actually says is that in the latter days, God's message would come. I have given that message. He's saying, I am your God. You are my people. I forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. That was addressed correctly to Israel and all mankind. Jeremiah 31 and 1 says so for Israel. And Jeremiah 32, 27 says so for all mankind. Identities were switched. It was the son of Esau. Uh, Jacob stole Esau's blessing by pretending to be the brother and the father bought it because he was half blind. And guess what happened? Early Christians grabbed, stole the Christian books uh, of the Hebrews, and then they dared to say, we are Israel, and uh, all the prophecy is for us. Then they stood for 2,000 years upon a kingdom age covenant that has never yet been given, not to be given until the latter days, as it says, so I have given it, and now Israel is Chrislam, Isaiah 62, 2, and now they have inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3. Why? Because the first is last, the last is first, and the seventh trumpet uh, revealing the mystery of God is over, and all nations immediately became the Lord's, and then all religions immediately became obsolete, and now even the prophecy of Muhammad has fully manifested. He said in the end days his people of Islam would belong to another that sounds like Islam, it is Chrislam, and he said that would happen because of a book proving God's mercy upon us. Uh, and he said, then all the distortionalities would disappear. He, and he said, there will never be another important prophet ahead of us. And that is why he was pointing backwards to Jeremiah. Jesus Christ was not the messenger of Jeremiah. Uh, he never said the words, I am your God, you are my people. Uh, forgive your iniquity, never remember it again, which had to send Satan immediately to, to the pit for a thousand years as surely as Adam and Eve had no belly buttons because they were created with very great age, just like the spirit is. These are the days of the trial of all flesh. Come to bring God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation. Know ye not that the moment that Abraham lifted the knife in that second it committed the man one coming the first time because otherwise it only would have proved that man had the capability to love God more than God had the capability to love us if he didn't do the same exact thing. Know you not that these are the days of Putin and that all of mankind will have to go underground into the caves of the rocks according to the Bible and there'll be seven horny women for one horny man because all the men will be dead and Armageddon is just ahead and Newt, 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 Newton, I call him Newton, Putin, Putin, Newton, uh, the nuke, nuke head. Uh, he is going to be dropping some nukes now. Don't uh, think for a second. It's all prophesied, feast and famine. But praise God, I am the hidden arrow of the apocalypse. And uh, the Lord is riding as the white horseman himself. He is the white horseman of the apocalypse, Christ. And he is riding, therefore, with a bow. And he's carrying the bow for the hidden arrow that was hidden in his quiver for these days. So he is fighting against the forces of the, the pale, the, the black and the speckled horses, death, famine, and uh, war. And uh, these are the days of the great bear of uh, Daniel 7, 5. 
it was it was chewing on three ribs. Uh, now it's chewed a fourth. It's uh, uh, annexed one extra one, and it's now hearing the words. Now you may go eat all the flesh that you would like. And we are in deep doo doo if people will not listen to me. I have all the answers on how this can be diffused, but I can't cast out my uh, pearls before swine. But know this. The prophecy of World War III is for a time, time, and a half a time. So it's time that we need to get with the program of realizing that the Daniel uh, 11 beast is not the lawless one. The lawless one of Thessalonians is morgue official. He's got the 666 on his wall. He's an antichrist wannabe, uh, and uh, he is leading people towards death. He's one of the biggest false prophets out there, and so is Putin. Uh, who declares that he's on the side of God. And this has all always been bullshit. Love is love, and those who love are born of God. Putin's not loving anybody except himself. Uh, and so in this hour, we got to start separating ourselves. The wheat and the tares can no long, longer grow together. I know for myself, I miss being like a little kid with no stress, no worries, no cares in the world. And for that reason, the Lord is wanting to institute that uh, upon this latter-day mountain of Isaiah 25. He wants to remove all of our shame, all of our guilt, by the sapphire sea uh, reflecting the great white throne's judgment of love upon us. Um, know this, the, the God of Christianity has always been false. He's not the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible says, I'm the God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. I am the good shepherd of all the flocks of man, John 10. And Christ changes not yesterday, tomorrow, or today. And he is not uh, a God of uh, conditional love like Christians have embraced. There is no love if it's conditional. Love is patient and kind and long-suffering, and love only desires to love. This was the hidden mystery of Revelation 10, 7. And the phony uh, Christ of Christianity uh, has always been a respecter of men. If you, like Christians, don't believe he is love, then he's going to hate you eternally and fry you like, like a fried spaghetti dinner. I don't know, have you ever had fried spaghetti? It's not bad. But it's totally ridiculous to think that an everlasting father, uh, a dog has unconditional love. Uh, and God spelled backwards is dog. Uh, all of you Christians have a dog God who is a sinner God who's a respecter of men. God, you got a God that's saying, don't do as I say, do as I do. I can respect my creation. If they're stupid and they don't know that I'm love, then, then I got to fry them forever and ever and ever. And Morgan Fisher was right. The uh, Jesus of this world has been like the devil because religion has put condemnation into his mouth. The true Lord is our Messiah of Messiah. He is our majesty of majesties, hero of heroes, icon of icons. So in this hour, we need to realize that a soul is headed uh, by being with ch children, headed towards uh, a world where one little child will lead all of mankind. And I am that little child. Uh, my name is Daniel. My name is Shiloh, according to prophecy. I am the alcoholic of Zechariah 3, standing there with Bart, the chosen author of the flying scroll of Zechariah 5. I am he who is transgressed by wine, but the just will live by my faith, because I'm already as hell, and I can never be satisfied as I embrace all people of the earth for our risen good shepherd over all the flocks of man. This will become a world with one Lord God and one loving people. And all then he will finally be the desire of all nations. Christians, you have corrupted your own book and your understandings. You have leaned onto your own understandings. And you have disgraced uh, uh, the great white throne. We have nothing but desolate heritages. The Bible pronounces that would be the conclusion. And I must reassign that. And so right now, we need to start mixing in a little bit of foolishness for fun uh, with our serious plan because it's lovely to be silly at the right moment. Don't you think so? I think so. But one thing is for sure. Uh, we need to, to learn how to play again. I play in my room with a bunch of props. Uh, I go to Value Village, buy sheets and blankets 
and I put lights up and voila I got a production studio in my bedroom now go figure I never thought I would even be a youtuber but first I wrote 200 books could never give one away and then I uh, created 12,000 videos that what nobody wants to watch but guess what people he is our carpenter of the ages and he says uh, through Peter the rock that if his restoration of Acts 321 to 142 for the latter days does not happen that he is kept in reserve in heaven and can never come back and what restoration was he talking about surely Elijah will come forth and restore all things Matthew 17 11 and the world is totally oblivious because they don't want to listen to me because as soon as it does it pulls down all kingdoms of man's imagination not built on the Lord's unconditional love exactly as it is written in Jeremiah 31 1 and Haggai 2 2 and I come forth as the destroying storm line by line precept by precept with the strong one uh, Elijah come forth and as a destroying storm even as a hellstorm even as a supernova to explode onto the scene and turn back the battle uh, against us by us back at the gates of hell so that all mankind will not be lost so in this hour we got to shake our head and we got to get with the world program the world program that the Lord wants us to be loving people and I do hold a scepter of God's authority. And in this hour, it is time to get with that program because it can be a small world after all, one of love. I visualize a world with whole new penal systems, a world where there will be no more housing. The Bible says so, no more homelessness, a world that is at peace, a world where people will just get along uh, Micah 4 says they'll walk with their God and the other will walk with their God in peace. And so in this hour, the most important prophecy of all, perhaps, is Second Thessalonians. In the latter days, all the creation has been groaning with great expectation for the revelation of who the hell we even are. The reason I know people is I dared to believe the word of God literally of things to come concerning the future of my sons and daughters and the work of my hands, command ye me thus said the Lord God in Isaiah 45 for anybody with spiritual balls. And I guess I had some because I commanded him. And I said, listen, if you're calling me to do what I think you're doing, I want the ground wet and I want the fleece dry and vice versa, uh, a miracle like Gideon asked for. And so next thing I knew, I was writing by a lamp that was never plugged in for seven minutes. And when I finally realized what had happened, uh, the plug was three feet away from the plug. And so in this hour, the Lord has given me open-eyed visions. He has given me a apocalypse uh, revelation of revelation so that all things can be settled and so that the wise can shine as the stars as it is written for the days of the latter-day Daniel. Don't you people know that exponentially we have science exploding, medicine exploding, uh, information exploding in all areas of this earth as it is foretold in Daniel 12? Don't you think that uh, the shattering of the power of the holy people would come because the mystery of God would finally be over? Revelation 10, 7, because the first is last, last is first, and all nations are now the Lord's, then they were his anyways. The bottom line, people, is all of our understandings have been twisted and we have nothing but a distortional false God in this world. And I am Elijah. And I don't know how many thousands of uh, uh, that I got to preach, but all I know is I'm never going to be done until you guys realize that the glory of love wants to shine. And he wants to shine in your direction just like this little light that's been making my beautiful uh, lights there. So until next time, people, I, I, I'm going to say a little prayer. This is the very first time I think I've ever prayed uh, publicly. So Heavenly Father, in Jesus' mighty name, thank you for the secret name of Christ, which is love. And every knee will bow unto love, and every tongue will confess love. So bow your heads, people. In this hour, perform now your word of Jeremiah 30, 24. Touch people's hearts. Let them mind and let their heart become one, because we truly have always been one. It is time 
for your spirit, Lord, to pour out your love upon all flesh. Mightily shall all people awake to the reality that we have always been beloved and that the majesty and the miracle of the wonder of your wonders and the amazement of your amazements has been so enormous that you would arise in this hour as an inferno of infernos and that you would spark uh, our hearts to flame on in such a way that we can become trailblazers for peace and that you would lead us in the way uh, of nourishment and that you have provided a mountain here of food uh, any topic under the sun people can watch videos at this channel and this is the only kingdom age channel there will never be another latter-day mountain covered with spiritual food as Isaiah 25 says this has always been metaphor the problem is people the stuff that was metaphoric Christians and other religious people they deemed it as literal and stuff that was literal they deemed it as metaphoric they uh, they insulted Jesus Christ who said about uh, he said to Nicodemus you cannot even know uh, anything about born again uh, because it's like the wind you don't know where it blows and yet uh, it was defined that people get saved I tell you truly no one ever gets saved we are saved unless we commit the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit because it, it, all sin is forgiven even not repenting for sin is forgiven all sin Jesus said is forgiven and if not repenting is sinful and Jesus said even uh, even sin against me it will be forgiven uh, which means if you did not believe in him it's never made any difference because he is love living in each of us if we will keep his love alive and so in this hour it is time to rejoice and it's time to see the utter truth that God has always loved us equally. Watch the deathbed confession of Anton LaVey, the writer of the Satan Bible, who uh, a lot of people would say, oh, he got saved. No, he just, he kept his love alive until the end, and he finished the race with his love light still on, and our, our beloved, who is the blessed and the adored, introduced himself and his heart of hearts unto Anton. And Anton was like, oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? He had the same reaction as uh, Charles uh, Dickens there, Charles Darwin. Um, he recanted fully his evolution because in this hour, any fool knows that a, a toad DNA can only give you a toad. Frog DNA can only give you a frog. Now you can mix the two and you can get a fold or whatever. But uh, the truth is you can never, all the evolution charts, they show the frog, uh, bec a fish becomes the frog, the frog grows on legs, uh, becomes a bigger animal, then it becomes an elephant, and it's always been bullshit. And the truth is you can uh, know about that. Uh, Google uh, T-Rex blood cell, and you'll see the blood cell in images on Google, and you'll see images of the blood cell T-Rex in the cell in the vein actually entombed animal hundreds of animals come out after supposedly millions of years no this world was created ancient on day one and noah's ark had nothing to do with god hating us he never hated us he's always loved us deeply deeply more than anyone has ever imagined but the truth is he brought the flood to get rid of the gigantism caused from the fallen ones who mated with people and the animals according to the book of giants bestiality with the angels and that's exactly what happened because then came the monsters uh god made a, a um god made a creation and he said the leaves of the tree shall be as your meat because it was all um vegetarian then came the satanic interference and then there came 2,000 pound sloths and 2,000 pound this and everything got big and uh, the fossil record's always been misunderstood and uh, assumptions by science have been faulty. Uh, you can, uh, science says that uh, it takes a thousand years for uh, one inch to grow in, um, how you say, uh, stalagmite and stalactite in um, a cave. But how come under the uh, Lincoln Memorial built in 1860, there's three foot long columns, stalagmites and stalactites. There's fossilized people in uh, 
uh, Florida, my God, and Ripley's, believe it or not, really are. Fossilized boots, fossilized teddy bears, fossilized bags of flour. I am the messenger from the north, Isaiah 41, and I hold all authority. And I tell you, listen to my Marco Polo video, and you will hear testimony of uh, T-Rex encounters because I used to sell it at Gourmet Meat in, in Orient. That was the last stronghold on the planet for uh, dragons. And uh, it, it was very expensive dinosaur meat. And, um, you know, it, it, that's why there's Cambodian temples with stegosauruses. How did they know what it looked like? They walked with us. Uh, look up the um, Elvis Delk uh, fossil. And uh, I've made a video about that too. Just scroll down, you see me sitting in a dinosaur uh, suit. But um, it's fossilized tracks. Um, put dinosaur track with man, and you'll see a dinosaur track with three, four, with the man uh, right on top. And it's always been uh, crazy because the creationists have been jumping up and down saying, this world's not old, this world's not old. Yes, it is. It was created ancient on the very first day. This world is 6,000 years old, and it is millions and billions of years old, too. And Adam and Eve had no belly button people. That is the utter gospel truth. And so as I go, keep your world shining as 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 this uh, symbol of... Uh, how you say the symbol of uh, Walt Disney World and know that it's time that we examine the heart of God and if we will do that as we get closer we can see that the heart that I'm talking about really does have an arrow in between and I'm not talking about Cupid I'm talking about love and Christ is that one who has an arrow and that arrow is found in Isaiah 49 and that arrow is me I am Elijah and I have already proved it by accusing everyone of having false God